Hey everybody, it's Joe from GreenLightSound.com, and today we've got episode one of our classic plugin series. First of all, what makes a plugin a classic? It has to be a little bit older. In the digital world, anything older than a couple of years is probably considered a classic, but we're going to look at some older ones. This particular plugin, this is Waves Aphex Vintage Arl Exciter, which was released in 2011, nine years old as of this video's release. And it's a great plugin. We're going to use it on acoustic guitar today and see how it works. So the very first thing I want to do is go over how you set up the plugin. The most confusing thing about setting this up is the modes because they're not clear from the labels exactly what they mean. So the four modes down here are BP, which stands for bypass, which is actually not a pure true bypass. It models the hardware's bypass behavior. Mix one, that mode is for using it as an insert on a track and that recreates the hardware unit's send return sound. So as if you were setting it up as a hardware send. Mix 2 recreates the hardware's mix mode insert sound. That's also very different sounding from mix 1, as you'll see. And then AX mode is for use as a send. That would be the traditional way of using it back in the day for the hardware unit. But a lot of people would want to insert it directly on the track, so they gave you these two different mix mode options. That's what I'll be looking at today as well. Input and output are pretty self-explanatory, driving the input signal, backing it off on the output. The AX mix here controls the amount of RL excitement that's being added to the original signal. And that is functional in the mix modes only. In the AX mode, you can't use this at all. We've got some analog noise, some analog electrical sounds that I usually just leave off. Here we go, let's hear it on acoustic guitars. The first thing I wanna do is bypass the plugin completely and hear just the acoustic guitar part by itself. So one of the things that the Aphex excels at is adding some upper frequency harmonics, which enhance the presence, the brightness, and the detail of sources. It's used on vocals all the time, but on acoustic guitar, it can really help bring it out. So let's engage the plugin. Here it is. I'll bypass it on and off as it plays, starting with it off. So just a huge difference in the sound, so much more presence there. I tend to not like on this source the mix two. I'll switch to mix two as it plays and you'll hear the big difference in sound. Mix one just works so much better. Let's take a look why. Over in Plugin Doctor, if I'm in mix one mode and I push up the RL excitement, you can see what happens on our EQ plot. We've got a little dip between 1 and 2K, but up here we're boosting that upper frequency range. And if we look at the harmonic analysis, we're actually putting a lot more of those upper range harmonics in there. Going back to our linear analysis now, if we look at mix 2, we've got a completely different EQ plot. And that's where all that nosiness comes from right here. That upper end is not in there at all. So it's very, very different. I much prefer using it in mix 1 mode. Now, it might sound over the top, but if you hear it in the context of other instruments, it really helps to cut through the mix. Now, bypassed. Back on. It just helps it cut through the mix and fit in the mix so much better. And that's without any other processing going on. I'm not adding EQ, I'm not adding compression, I'm not doing anything else, but adding the RL exciter onto that acoustic guitar part. You could do the same thing with any source. You could do it with vocals, which it's used on all the time. You could put it across a whole mix if you wanted to and see if that added presence and brightness helps out the mix. So there it is. Classic number one, the Waves Aphex Vintage RL Exciter. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already so we can keep you in the loop as to what's coming up next and I will see you in the next one.